One of the things I really like about shortcuts a lot is that it makes it really easy to figure out what you need to in type or click to get these circle monogram fonts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to display this a little bit larger, make it easier to see. The fonts are right over here. Just click fonts and you can move this window, spread it out, make it taller. And there we go, make it a little bit wider. And you can make this wider or smaller so you can see the full name. And the fonts are over here. If you want to see them larger, just drag this slider over to the right and you'll see the individual fonts larger. So if you wanted to make something with three letters and a black background, you would choose this one. If you want three letters with a white background, you choose this one. Two letters with a black background or two letters with a white background. So I'm going to create one with a white background and I'm going to use this thin, sorry, thin frame. And I'm just going to use my initials in there. So that would be, I need a K for the circle on the left, or the circle shape on the left. So I'll click K. My middle initial is I. Nish is the middle letter. And the initial on the right side of the circle would be I. And that's all there is to it. I've typed it in. I'll just bring this down a little bit so you can see more of my monogram over here. And if I hold down the shift key and drag this out, it will keep the circle proportional. It'll keep it as a, as a perfect circle. I could drag it a bit if I wanted to make this an oval. It's very simple to do. I just need to select it. And I can drag this out to the right and make that more of an oval if I like. So that's how difficult it is to do any of those in shortcuts sure a lot. When you come to Silhouette Studio, that's quite different. I'm just going to delete this. Um, let's say I wanted to put the letters CMH, and there's a reason I'm choosing CMH. I haven't been able to figure out mine with the three letters. And um, what you need to do is you won't see your letter letters displayed. Once you choose Circle Monogram, I'm going to make it larger so it'll be easier to work with. You don't see any letters. You need to type in codes that are provided in a PDF document that you get when you purchase the font. So I'll click the font here. I've got circle monogram selected. And if I type in a question mark, I get this frame. If I type in a lowercase c, I get the c on the left, uppercase m for the middle in, um, sorry, that's not the middle. Yes, it is the middle initial and the eight. See, it's not working. This is what they show you and it still doesn't work. Okay, I've only been able to figure out two letter monograms in Silhouette Studio so far. I'm sure somebody has the, uh, the trick for, for doing it, but I haven't been able to figure it out yet. I just prefer to use shortcuts a lot.